Take an empty two litre soft drink bottle and with a felt tip pen mark a ring around near its base. In a few moments you'll see how far up from the base you need to mark that ring. Now cut around the mark. You will need an adult to make a hole in the bottle first with a sharp knife. Cut all the way round except for the last two centimetres. The base of the bottle must stay attached. Here you can see the base is still attached. Pouring in a cupful of water to the base keeps it flat on the surface. The top part of the bottle needs to rest on something. A brick works well. Here I've used an old ice cream carton. You'll understand now that the length of base you cut from the bottle needs to be the same as the height of whatever the bottle rests on. You can see that I cut a curved piece out of each end of the margarine tub to rest the bottle in. Cutting lower one end makes the bottle slope towards the base. You've got some special hydroponic matting. Enough for two bottles. I've wet one piece of matting and laid it inside the bottle. I've also pushed a straw up underneath the matting. You'll find out what the straw's for in a moment. Now you can add some seeds onto the matting. Here I've sprinkled a few grass seeds in. You could use the fast growing seeds or some other seeds that you've got at home. Make sure you keep the matting damp every day, add some water, and wait now until the seeds germinate and take root in the matting. OK, first part done. The seeds will grow and eventually root into the matting. They will then need more water and nutrients. We've given you a pump to keep your plants watered. Start by pushing the end of a straw into the pump. You could drive the pump using a rechargeable battery and holder that you had in a previous kit. Here you can see I've joined it all up together using crocodile leads. Alternatively, you could drive the pump using your solar panel. Here again you can see that I've made a circuit using crocodile leads. If you use the battery, it will of course go flat. You can recharge it with the solar panel. So, you could charge your battery during the day with the bright sunshine and then use it to run the pump in the evenings. Here I've put the pump into the base of the bottle and you can see that the pump is pushing the water up the straw and underneath the matting. Here it's outdoors and the sun is shining brightly and the solar panel is driving the pump very nicely. If the straw sticks up too high from the pump you'll have to cut a little bit off. Water is pumped up to the plants but trickles back to the bottle base. The final thing is to provide some nutrients. You can probably see the blue colour here where I've added some of the nutrients we've given you. So the finished article. But the plants only need watering like this for some of the day.